Я не завжди тямлю за що і через що я кого люблю, не знаю і скажу правду. Знати не домагаюсь. Люблю і вже. Любов абсолютної справедливості не знає, але втім її вища справедливість. У світі стільки несправедливо прикрого, що якби не було несправедливо лагідного, то зовсім не варто було б жити не від нас. Залежить поправити більшу половину всесвітньої несправедливості, безпосередньо будемо ж поправляти її іншою несправедливістю, любов'ю. Хай, мій ім'я Вадим. I'm Ukrainian who lives in the Netherlands now. So, welcome. I will be very happy to see you here. I just want to tell a little bit about myself today. So, I think Ukrainian speech complements this atmosphere. I can only tell about my experience of living in the Netherlands, where I live now, and what I do. I can also tell how the Netherlands helps me, and uh, my family also. Anyway, every Ukrainian has different story and experience. I don't think at what time did we know what it was to feel something strong, like pain, something protecting you. When you have to leave the country, you're focused and you don't feel anything, but it's not a long fortress. My mother My twin brother and my cat Thomas arrived in the Netherlands on the 10th of March at night. I remember that moment very, very well. We got at the train station. We had no mobile internet, and our English was terrible. There was only emptiness all around. When my mother saw a woman and tried to ask for help. She offered us money, but we refused, and we just tried to find a way out at the police who could help us. We saw a young woman and uh, my mother tried again. The girl realized that the English of my mother was a little broken. I still can't believe. The girl switched uh, to our native language and helped uh, to find the police. The police of the Netherlands were very cute and asked, Is everything all right? They took us to the Red Cross car, which took to the distribution center for refugees from Ukraine. By the way, it was my first time in Amsterdam. I saw a lot of bicycles and it was an incredible feeling. Only later I found out it was part of your culture. We were one of the first Ukrainians to come to the Netherlands at the beginning of the war. The distribution center decided that we would be given a room in a hotel. It was a quiet place in Purmerend, so we went again. At 3 o'clock in the night we arrived and immediately fell asleep. And In the morning, we had a new and safe life. I would like to say that most Ukrainians have a poor command of the English language. We learned it at school. But for some reason, we don't know it. And uh, to know English well, you need extra lessons with a teacher or classes at an English language school. The first days of living in the Netherlands I used to Google Translate to communicate with people. In March and April, I hardly ever left my hotel room. I was very homesick. But to soften my sadness, I continued to study Photoshop and Premiere Pro. It was my world where I could create comfort. Just a short bike right away and you will see Bibliotheque Waterland. I think we Dutch know this place. It translates as library. Such familiar and cozy word to me. A place where you communicate with native speakers. I remember how difficult it was in the beginning. But I am so happy to be there again and again. I found out later that refugees from Ukraine had been put up on a ship, in a nursing home, and even in a prison. But don't worry, everything is fine. How to say 
this is a good prison. This hotel is like a second home to me. It is called Golf Club. People who are inspired with type of sport come here. The Netherlands allowed Ukrainians to work. A lot of people from our hotel work here and get paid. Interesting fact is that 90% of Ukrainians living in this region have animals. Of course, we chose the country where my cat uh, would have priority, and uh, I'm very happy. Diakuyu. The hotel staffs are very friendly people who are helpful, and atmosphere is fine. I have always loved the quiet that I wish you for anyone who does not remember and forget it. Now I can say, Diakuyu, что были разом со мной сегодня. До побачення.